On my to-do list, and that's since a few years now, is marked making an arbor press. I have my table filled with useful stuff. This could be a base plate. And the body of the press, oh, this thing, very heavy, can come here. But I will assemble it horizontal because it's really heavy. If I cut a piece of this thing here, and then I have the ram that can come here and a pinion. Of course I could buy an arbor press, but it's way less fun than making yourself. Once finished I think this would be the ideal spot to install the thing. Now a question could be of course, why do I need an arbor press? Let's start with uh, what I think are the most complicated parts and that is of course the ram. This will be a gear rack and the pinion. I'm gonna cut these gears, metric gears, module 1.5 because I have the homemade cutters for it. I wanted the teeth to be bigger but then I have to uh, remake all new uh, cutters and I think for my small machines bigger teeth will not work very well. Bigger teeth, bigger cuts. I have a crude little sketch here on my note to self device and let's go for it. I will turn this thing between centers. So if I have to make modifications later on I can always come back. It will be a lot easier. I had to switch tools because the dog started to touch this uh, cross slide. And I think now with this tool things could work better. If I set a gear of course. The late work on this one is finished. Let's see if we can turn this thing in a gear pinion. Right, now I have a choice. I can cut the teeth on the top side of the part, but it will be climb milling. That's maybe not a good idea. I can also cut the teeth on the other side of the part. This will be conventional milling, which I think is better in this situation. But here I can see what I'm doing. Right, I decided that client milling it will be. And if I see that it doesn't work I can always change, put the cutter on the underside because this is a 20 tooth gear. 
which means it's uh, symmetric. Let's give it a go. Depth of cut, one millimeter. That worked like a charm. I think I'm gonna cut all the teeth doing the first pass and then dial deeper in doing the second pass and then uh, dial and third pass and uh, I think it will be easier. This part is almost finished. I made a cute little hex here for my socket, so that works. All I have to do is cut off the length here and drill and tap a hole in, but I will do it later. And of course I had a nice little bozo with it. This dimension, 33. This dimension, 25, small k. The depth of the teeth, hole depth, 4.5. Two times because of course you have teeth on this side, this side gives a total of 9. 33 minus 9, 24. And I have 25. Which means that these teeth are not cut to the total depth. And if you think it's uh, stupid, I think so too. But I will make it work. Let's make a start on the ram. First clean up four faces and cut the teeth. And I will do it here on the milling machine because this part is 300 millimeters, exactly the length of movement of the table. I like more to do this on the shaper, but the stroke length on the shaper maximum 200. This 300 won't work. is now square and parallel and there's not much footage of the milling operations because I forgot to press record. Okay, I will cut the teeth here on the shaper.
I installed the tool slide at 20 degrees, which is of course the pressure angle of the teeth I have to cut. So it will cut only one side of the tool and the bottom and a very tiny bit this side of the tool. Which means that all workpiece and all the zig will be pushed that way. And to cut the next one and the next one and the next one I will move this way. Which means the backlash will be no problem. The tool will push against the backlash feeding this way. It will work. I will start cutting these teeth on the very beginning of the part. Which means that when it's finished I can slide it in and out without having a step so I don't have to take all my thing apart. Poor little machine is not very happy with this heavy cut. The first two cuts didn't work very well because I made a little measuring mistake. These teeth are too deep, so too big cut and that's why there was so much chatter. Now it seems to work a little bit better because less depth of course. But I'm still not uh, happy with the surface switch. parts are now finished almost just have to cut and drill of course and I think it will work let's start on the other pieces first a big cleanup take off all this rust and of course this is an outdoor activity because inside here with all this brown dust not a good idea but it's late in the evening and it's dark outside and it's freezing so this will be for next week's video